For fans, I'm up in the cab of of eight nine is trying to get beat done here on wheat harvest 2020 and it's starting to rain so i thought it was fun to film it from the cab and see if we beat the rain we've also got two john deere s680 combines with shelbourne stripper heads helping out trying to get it across these last few acres to wrap up the harvest for the year so we'll see how far we can make it and if we beat the rain hello to joke boy thanks for tuning in Hi to Farming Life. Thank you, Joke Boy. Thanks for watching. So I'm up in the cab of a New Holland CR 890 twin rotor combine. And we're just out here going. And we've got two John Deere S680s helping out too. And a John Deere 8330 rolling across the field there with a Brent cart. Always nice to see those John Deeres with the double model numbers. So we're racing the rain. We've got a few raindrops on the windshield, but the farm's going to try to push through and get this cut. Hello to Athens, Georgia, Massachusetts. Lucas, I'm in Western Kentucky. We're not too far from Bowling Green, Kentucky, where Corvettes are made. Hello to Scotland. I'm trying to get the last field of wheat for the harvest and just a few more passes, but the rain's coming in. Got CR New Holland combines are very good. The twin rotor does a great job. Hello to Michigan and Manitoba, Canada, Missouri. Hello to Belize. Hello to Pennsylvania and Illinois. So I had a chance to film this combine harvesting oats and I came out to catch it in wheat and it looks like I'm not going to be able to film it on the ground just because of the raindrops, but we'll spend some time here in the cab. Hi to Ryden Green. Thanks for tuning in. Glad you caught the live stream. We can show you the controls over here. Got a nice control system on the new Holland Combine. It's always neat to get to see the different brands throughout the season. Hello to the Netherlands and Germany. How was the test weight this year? Um, I want to say that from what I've seen on farms, they've been doing anywhere from 65, 75 bushels. And before one rain that we had, the test weights were up in the high 60s from what I what I saw. Hello, Heinrich. They just finished corn harvest in South Africa. That's pretty cool. Hello to everyone. So we've got a S680 just over here with a stripper head, Shelburne stripper head, racing along, trying to get these last, this is all the wheat left is between this New Holland CR890 and that S680. And give you the cool turnaround shot. This is always kind of fun to do the live stream because when I'm filming this, you might just see in the video, the CR890 cutting wheat and have no idea that there are two 680s right behind my back, uh, working too. Do I travel out of Western Kentucky? Yes, when I get a chance. I, I do travel other places, and I also have friends that are helping me film in other states like New York, Wisconsin, Illinois, Montana, Arkansas. So there's um, lots of good, good opportunities. I just can't get everywhere, and um, there's lots of very cool equipment to see here, so there's not always the reason to travel. Hello to Argentina. You can kind of see the rain clouds are just skirting this field in the distance. Hello to Canada. What is my favorite combine? Um, I like them all. Uh, I'm really impressed by the New Hollands and the twin rotor that, that I'm in now. You can see the yellow paint down there, the yellow up there. Uh, Gleaner makes an outstanding combine. It's the cleanest sample that I see every year. Thanks for tuning in, Farming Life. Hello to uh, Mexico. Very cool. Hola. So we're just moving along here, harvesting the wheat in between the raindrops. Hello to Italy. Oh, hi, Caden. Caden uh, Solomon's Farm 14 was just up here in Western Kentucky last weekend. 
why do they have two different headers out here? Uh, just a neighbor helping out and getting this wheat done. That's what they use as those stripper heads. And um, this farm uses the McDon draper head. So kind of makes a neat pattern in the field because you've got tall straw and you have um, short straw stubble as well. So just um, trying to beat this rain. We'll see how far we get. Hello to the Bronx, New York. Very cool, my mom grew up there. How much more do they have to cut? If you look out the window where that S680 is, that's all that's left, but we've got some long passes around this pond, so we'll see if they can they can make it. Hello to Texas. Oh, very cool. Uh, Richter Farms has an International 1460 and 2388. I, I really would love to film an International 1468 in wheat. Uh, most farms here in Kentucky do not bale their straw. Um, they spread it out because there's a second crop of soybeans that are going to be planted in this field. And that really serves as a good mulch to hold moisture in over the summer. Even though we're racing the rain right now, there's always um, the chance of a good drought and that straw holds a moisture, so it's more valuable that way. This is a McDon FD70 40-foot head. Uh, for those tuning in right now, we've got uh, about 220 people on. This is a New Holland CR890 combine, and we're cutting wheat. This is the last field of the season here, this farm in Western Kentucky, and just trying to stay ahead of the rain. This is a 40-foot draper. Low to Alabama. Do I have other tractors besides my International 4786? Yes, I. Uh, have a John Deere 8850 as well uh, so hopefully I did a live stream from it this spring doing some tillage hopefully this fall we'll get the red and the green tractor running in the same field oh, hi Donnie that's cool that you had two 1460s now the international 1400s are getting a little bit harder to find these days parts are harder and you know they're getting to be 40 35 years old I am not driving. Uh, we've got CJ um, here. He's the he's driving here, and this is his family's farm. And I've got an interview come up with CJ. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna just take a break. He's got to take a phone call from. I got help in here. Hello. Hello. Going across the field here, you can see the farms, New Holland T9450. CJ just had to take a phone call there and they're trying to we're up in a New Holland CR 890 and trying to get the last few passes of wheat here before a rainstorm comes in you can see all the trucks down there hauling the grain away 
Um, someone asked if this was on GPS. Yes, it's on auto guidance. Is this the New Holland PLM or do you use uh, something else? We've got a AFS Pro 700. So it's the same monitor that's in a lot of the case equipment as well. Okay. And this combine is made in uh, Nebraska, along with the, um, the Case IH Axo Flow, made in Grand Island, Nebraska. A Lotus of Lockia. At 293 people on. Appreciate everybody tuning in and checking out the last of the wheat harvest here. This is the last, for those joining in right now, um, this is the last field of wheat for this farm here in Western Kentucky. And they're racing the rain to try to get the last few passes in. Also got a John Deere S2 S680s with Shelburne stripper heads racing along on the other side of the field to help finish up. That's cool, Richter Farms, they have a 9250. I just featured one on the channel's video yesterday. A load of Pennsylvania. It's always neat to see where everybody's tuning in from around North America and other parts of the world. So we're at 11 minutes and 11 seconds. This is um, a New Holland CR890 combine with a 40 foot wide McDon Draper head FD70 model. And it is cutting winter wheat here in Western Kentucky. You can see a John Deere 8330 down there with a Brent cart on the trucks. Trying to get the the wheat between us and that 680 cut before the rain comes in. I'm get someone from Clarksville, Tennessee. They said it's pouring there, so hopefully it stays over that way until this is done. Load of Colorado, England, 6:30 p.m. in England. Load of Wisconsin. South America, very cool. Tennessee, low from Ohio. Green Bay, Wisconsin. So feel free to ask any questions. Hello to France. It's just really neat seeing all the people that comment from around the world and watch the channel. It's very appreciated. Austria, Arizona, Michigan, Saskatchewan. This is a New Holland CR 890. This is the same as a Case IH 8240 in size and capacity. And it's uh, doing a great job out here. Cutting the wheat. A load of Poland, a load of Germany. How can the Shelburne head move faster than the Draper head? Well, I'm trying to see if I can see the model number. I'm, I'm gonna guess that's a 32 foot model over there. And uh, it doesn't take any straw in. It, all it does is take in the seeds. I actually filmed the combine for a pass over there and tried to show the difference. It, it simply takes the, head, the grain in. No, you can see there's no straw coming out of the back of that combine. This combine's taking in 40 feet of crop that um, is, you know, yields you know, pretty highly here. So it's, um, we'll see what the yield is. What is it? Uh, average percentage of 70 bushel. Okay, so we got 70 bushel wheat here, 40 feet wide. You can see all that straw going in there. And it's getting a little wet and tough because of the rain that's out there. So that, that's why the stripper head can move faster. It, it can actually run in wetter conditions because the grain inside the wheat is still, is still dry. So he can really move across the field. I think we're running at about 2.2 miles per hour. I'm gonna guess that he's he's pushing maybe three and a half. If you, I don't know if you can see without a zoom, but you can see those little stainless steel combs spinning around in there. So they're trying to finish up the wheat harvest before the rain arrives and all that's left is what you see between these two combines. Oh, very neat to know there's a draper head in the UK. So here we'll be able to see some of that uh, that wheat from the stripper head. They the S six eighties did the headland, so it really almost looks like it's not harvested. Here goes that John Deere eighty three thirty and the Brent ten eighty two cart. Oh, 
CJ's gonna take a call. Hold on a minute, guys. Hello. Yes, sir. They're empty. No, no, no. We're good. Okay, yeah, yes, sir. We can fit it all on it. Getting down the last few passes here, you can see the two S680s are flying across the field there. We're gonna dump on a New Holland T9 450 with a Kinsey cart. So we got a Kinsey 850. We'll see those S680s go by. And watch this. This auger is pretty neat. It, um, it folds around in the back when it goes into transport mode. Got to film that when they were doing oats, and it's a pretty neat option. So there's a T9 450 with a Kinsey 850 cart. So we'll see that wheat pour out. So if I remember my specs correctly, this combine unloads at 4.5 bushels per second. So it can really dump a lot of wheat out pretty fast. If you look at that. You can see the joint there where that other part of the auger um, folds in half, which is really handy going down the road, backing in sheds. And also if you're opening up the headlands, you can keep it folded back. You don't have to worry about backing into a tree when you're getting the corners on the perimeter. What is my favorite tractor? Well, I own two tractors. I've got an International 4786, which is a V8 tractor, and a John Deere 8850, which is V8. So those are definitely two of my favorite. I also like Steiger tractors a lot. See the grain pouring out back here? Is there any canola here? We have had canola in Kentucky the last few years. I, I didn't see any put out this year. It's a, definitely a lot to, to handle. It's just so small that yeah. if you have any crack in anything, it pretty much Out it goes. Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, it looks like we're going to finish this field, and the rain is let up, so I may, um, we're going to get up here to a last little pass, but I may jump out and uh, film this combine, getting the last pass here in just a minute. So I, I really appreciate everybody tuning in to check this out, and really glad that the farm's going to get their weed in before the, uh, before the rain pours us out. Here we can see those draper heads. So we'll just ride up here to where it gets wide and then I'm gonna jump out and get that one last clip that I can. It's always neat to see these New Hollands in action. We've had 370 pull on, which is pretty cool, watching from everywhere. So we'll look forward to having this New Holland um, CR890 up on Big Tractor Power YouTube in its own, own video. And I, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching all the time. So we're looking at the last pass of wheat here for the season uh, for the farm. And see it's just getting that little piece there. And this will be it. So definitely always exciting to see wheat. And believe it or not, corn harvest is probably just about 60 days or so away. 
Um, so it's just starting to tassel out and put on silks, but it won't take long to make a crop. So thank you to everyone for tuning in, and I'll look forward to bringing you some more videos on Big Tractor Power YouTube. It's always exciting to see this big equipment.